Auto Line on the Road at Cars MBS has been brought to you by Borg Warner. With special thanks to the Center for Automotive Research. Eric Wilds is the Chief Marketing and Sales Officer for the supplier Magnon. Here we are at the MBS conference. Everyone's trying to figure out where this industry is going. Yeah. What do you think, Eric? I mean, it, it looks like the chip shortage is starting to ease up a little bit. How do you see it? You know, if, if we look at the, the, the chip shortage, I think like everyone has had such an impact on, on where we are and what production forecasts have been, but we, we continue to remain hopeful and we continue to see the build back, it, it's there. I think our first step is stabilization. And even though we, we still had disruptions in Q2, we're, we're looking to the back half, right, for, for some of that recovery to happen for stabilization. And then hopefully building back into 23 and we get to more normal levels for inventory and everything else that we're trying to backfill. Look, I know you're not an economist, but what's your outlook for the economy? There's talk, maybe a recession. How do you see it at Magna? <laughs> Well, there's, there's a lot of people that I think are going to have a lot more um, uh, defined based uh, opinions on, on the economy. I think from our side, we see all the struggles. We see all the, all, all the influences that are coming in, in affecting consumers as well as the production. Definitely, there's challenges out there. We, do, we don't have that, that, that magic answer. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to position ourselves so that we can adjust today and, 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 and be in a strong position. And as the economy starts to ramp back up, we're right there with it and growing even stronger. There's going to be economists talking here. In fact, you're going to be on a panel here in a little bit talking about it. How do you use these forecasts? I'm sure you buy forecasts from different forecasting houses. And they probably vary in all that. So internally, how do you guys figure out how to take that data and apply it to your business? Well, if you look at how we base our business, our strategies for financial planning, even capacity planning, our product cycles, what we're developing, it's all based on forecasts. Forecasts are critical to what we do and what our, how our business is, is built up, right? And, and then how we decide on our strategies going forward. So from a Magna side, we do internal updates to our forecasts eight times a year. We, we, we take input from all, the, all these different um, forecasters as well as auto analysts. We put them all together and we look and then we do our own scenario planning too to get our views. Wow. So in, in the last couple of years, it has been more impactful as, as we've tried to, you know, there was so much stability in the past, but now there are so many variables that we're always trying to figure out what's the next, what's the next piece? Where's, what's the next move that's going to happen? You know, it's funny because you say there was stability in the past. In the past, you would have never said that, oh, but no. with everything it's, going on today, it's like, boy, yeah. that was so stable. Then. Stability, absolutely. Yeah. So you're, you're doing a, a reforecast or updating it almost every uh, month and a half or something like right. that, right? Right. I mean, uh, how does that drive operations then? I mean, because businesses like stability. They don't want to be changing production schedules even. Yeah, but if, if you look at it from our side, if we set our schedule in January and then didn't make any changes to it, yeah. right? So much happens over the course of, and, and, and now today, week by week, month to month, that, that, that these updates help us again for planning. It's manpower, it's capacity, it's, you know, is our product mix the right mix, right? What, and, and how do we staff and within Magna, the beauty of Magna is given the breadth of our organization, we can make certain adjustments within the organization and, and try and balance some things. So this, the more updates we do gives us the greatest amount of flexibility. Gotcha. So what's hot right now within Magna, at least? You know, where, where is business really growing? You know, what, what, what's nice for Magna is business continues to grow. So we're having, you, you can say there's industry disruptions for, for sure. We, we have all the inflationary impacts that we're trying to deal with, but business continues on, right? The future, and I, I think that's the beauty of the auto industry. They're not stopping, we're not just sitting here waiting for things to happen. It continues to grow in advance and product development. So we're very engaged across all of our products actually mm -hmm. to grow, because even, even if you look at an EV vehicle, you talk about the powertrain, but it needs all the other parts of the car or the vehicle as well, right? So, so business going forward in the, in the future is, is yeah. actually very strong. You still need doors and seats and all the all, other all, stuff that goes in, stuff, even yeah. if it's electric or even hydrogen fuel cell, it doesn't At, matter. It, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. So our portfolio is almost kind of, right now it's agnostic to, to the powertrain. Or, or a big portion of it is, I should say. So rest of the year looks more promising than the, the first yeah. half, you think, or what? I think we're, we're, we're looking for some more stability still, still okay. to come. I, I almost hesitate to make any prediction yeah, nowadays because yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you just don't know what comes. Right. But I think when we look at the second half of the year being a little bit stronger, we, in fact, when we did our re release a week ago, we took up our sales for the, for, the, for the remainder of the year a little bit. So 
we, we do see a little bit more leveling off. And as long as we can kind of hold where we are and get some good stable production, I, I think things will look really good. Great. Eric, thanks so much for your time today. Yep. Good, good for me to get a little window into the thinking at Magna. Okay, thank you, John. The world is changing at an ever-increasing pace. No matter what the mode of transportation, there is always the need for an efficient propulsion system. And that's exactly what Borg Warner has been doing since the earliest days of the automotive industry.